Hello, so Bleedy's here again with a little ah, video about uh, I was doing the gas generator here in the last video um, I thought about it uh, and I think I have a solution though not pretty sure but I'm gonna take uh, out some uh, stuff in the program here though uh, I um, think the problem with here I think uh, oh wrong way uh, we have not in this one though uh, we can do this. Uh, I show the program. I have uh, a great new one. Uh, we can do like yes. mm, yeah, uh, confirm. Uh, generator uh, we can clear clear uh, clear that we can do like this confirm we have that saved some other rare so we can take this I see and import yeah so um, this program I have like taken taken or taken I uh, where do I have that in the menu here later I downloaded that from a uh, very good programmer in my eyes gas fuel generator here from uh, Mike I think yes so he controlling the outside uh, or taking the outside temperature and I think uh, this is the problem because in my world or I don't uh, something interfere with the f uh, vents that are inside the generator room so they turn off and on uh, all the time uh, I don't know but he control also the uh, vents that taking cold air during the night with the program I don't know if this is my base that's uh, doing that uh, but this part controls the uh, I go oh, I need to have the tank or do I have that ah he has that down here tank for the volume pump uh, no the pressure uh, pressure pump was it the volume pump no no it's a volume pump uh, I'm sure so yeah, I has that down there, tanked temperature. Uh, yeah, not a good programmer though, so I don't have a, a exactly clue what everything's doing here, but this is tank. Uh, uh, 200. Uh, this is though the number of the um, 
uh, active event. Though. So, I just gonna test. Like, if that's the problem with my uh, world. So, we're gonna load up that one. I've just deleted, like, uh, some part here uh, with the start here with the uh, set point if I don't know. we will see if this is gonna work we I take the way of the part of uh, what I think it's there so export and see if that's even swallowing that program yeah it does so if I just kick start it this again ish with now we up at I will see if that's controlling anything so we kick start this with doing here so regenerator starts uh, and that vent starts that's good uh, and all my stuff this is like controlling um, my battery uh, so it stops when it comes to full uh because i don't want to have it like going for like when the battery is full it's don't need to produce more so controlling that with there i have you here we have the ratio of the battery uh, and that will stop at one when it's fully loaded and it it probably do that part works though so, but it seems to be working with the vents uh, though but now I need to like hook up uh, to my old system I was playing around with air so I need to hook up this again to the to to the active vents that are putting uh, cold air during the night to the tank so I'm just doing that probably fool around with 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 that program again if I um, like um, want to have a small ship instead of all that stuff I'm not so good at programming but I will try to fool around with programming though I like to learn so um, I will try to do that we close up this for now though. why do I have like the mining stuff up here i don't know so yeah that was this uh, we'll see i want to stream now so uh, we see if this works in stream uh, and i'm gonna change that up to uh, to controlling the the intake of the cold air for this so yeah i think so this is gonna work i hope so a little change to the program we'll see that did the trick um fool around with it a little bit more uh got this ish 
I think up and going. Went three. Yeah, so I fiddle around with it a little bit there though. The gas uh, fuel generator had some small uh, issues, technical stuff, and yeah. So the final result, uh, result is that I was needed to um, separate the program out though. Uh, this is controlling the environmental uh, inside here uh, with temperature and pressure uh, and uh, this. So uh, this IC is controlling that. Uh, that was actually sh or should actually control the cold air we're putting into the oops uh, to the system so that should actually control this as well uh, but it didn't work uh, so I ripped out that part in the program uh, oh sounds violent but i ripped out of it uh, i'll see if i can show you that uh, let me see edit uh, uh, now this is a completely different this is for the pump I'm using there, so that's have no um, yeah. we can kind of save that. Uh, pump. Uh, I haven't um. Uh, pump control. All right. Uh, and for cold gas. Uh, over right. So this is the program I uh, no, I just uh, this part. Oh, I ripped out. So um, that was controlling the pumps uh, uh not the pumps it was controlling the uh, active vents that was uh, sucking the air out then and i added like i needed to add it, the vent uh, probably could do that uh, but i and i used the pins here so i, I um that was uh, uh, full, so I needed to have a, a new IC for the controls for that. So I just have uh, uh, six vents and I'm checking the tank as well there, so it doesn't... So I um, don't need to explain that for you guys maybe, but that was... Uh, that is that chip. And I have the vents, of course, outside uh, there. So, so it is with that. Uh, and I'm starting to like, yeah, can uh, like do some decorations and stuff here. Uh, so. Yeah, and, and this look is just uh, stuff though. It's controlling the power for the generators. So it's a logic reader. If I have was was um, a master or, or a little bit more uh, uh, knowledge about the coding, I will probably have done a... a uh, code for that because this 
here is controlling on off for the generators. I'm I'm reading uh, reading the battery. No, reading um, um, power from the generator. Um, and this is writing though into oh this is just controlling that so it's just taking and reading uh, that uh, the so this part only is for controlling um, loading the batteries or recharging it so it's uh, uh, reading from the battery there and it's comparing that oh with a number i have set there so it's it's reading uh ratio uh, though from the battery and i set it to one it doesn't need to be but you do i think ratio is the best i i don't know i but it's working. It's a little glitchy though. Uh, but um, for now, it's pretty good. So it's writing that to the generator though. Uh, so it's start and stop. So, so we do it that. And uh, yeah. This is controlling the vents no oh, the pump <laughs> sorry it's controlling that uh, volume pump there that filling the tank i have a, a extra, uh, extra one there so uh, i was like checking how it was if i should do a, a turbo one pump or if I should do uh, just a pressure uh, regulator for keeping the pressure in, in the tank now. Uh, but yeah. Ah, and I have that. I don't know what's like. He is uh, like stopping counting on some time to time. Uh, Uh, so, I don't know, but we'll see if I c maybe can do, uh, set me down and do a program for that. So I kind of solved the issue with the fan that's like, yeah, the program that it's, I have used for controlling all this was um, a little bit dumb so the one that i ripped out the half of the program and yeah now it works um bad i don't know but it's working so now i can kind of start on working on for example collecting a little bit more o2 here I can finish off the room here, uh, but I probably have uh, other task that is a little bit more pressing or maybe needed. Like my issue, oh no, 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 no. We have pressure in here, so. Pressurize the room. Uh, though we have finally kind of get some O2 in here. Some pressure rise so we can take off the helmet. Oh. But yeah, I'm having the batteries up here though for now. So it's kind of nice blue color to that now. Have been like red for a long time. 
So when I was at it, I'm going to expand this room here. So I have a little bit better room for <laughs> mm, tight squeeze here, dude. So yeah, I need to have a little bit better room. So I don't need to like manhandle my yeah, how to latch pipe machines tool makers here uh when i'm and run around that stuff because it's it's a little bit mm, not working good though so yeah um, there is the old this needs maybe i can have it there like back up back up Now I can hear the program like don't want. So yeah, uh, and the beast we are talking about is in this room and that's that. Uh, um, so this beast advanced furnace i think i can um, can do that so why do i have all those uh, I, I i'm a fan of like having too much inventory space but now i have though are full all those so i i'm yeah very full so yeah we will maybe uh, to this weekend uh, have done something about this yeah and last stream though we were ish finishing off here though not this uh, i have already but the roof stuff and uh, overflow so the over sometimes when the power ish goes out so you just turn off the power uh, the sorter yeah don't have power so the <laughs> items go out here it doesn't sort anything so i was thinking yeah why not do uh, 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 like connecting them up back over so it's like going in circle around there so so now i need to have like on the front side here need to have some yeah so i can collect items whatever i need for the yeah, for example the advanced furnace or the furnace i have here uh in this corner uh fippling around with gas on that too there so yeah so it is that will maybe be it for this little youtube here so see you on well, tomorrow maybe or you maybe see this video tomorrow so see you today or on twitch uh because there i'm streaming <laughs> yeah so if you want to check out what i'm doing and when i'm doing it yeah welcome in there when i'm doing that so have a nice day and like and subscribe bye bye